Hello YouTube, um, this is Malizioso. Today I want to do a small and quick review of my uh, new toy is a uh, Shanik 55 Stingray C. Um, this is a Turkish um, CZ75 form of the compact CZ75. Okay. Uh, first of all, what do you get in the box? Of course, you get the pistol, you get two magazines and the loader. Okay. Uh, you also get a uh, padlock and you get a rod, clean rod and a brush and a small uh, few pages uh, manual. Things that were never going to be used. And of course, a nice plastic case, very nice plastic case for you to carry. Okay, let's get this out of the way. So, why Shanik 55? Okay, first of all, I'm a left-handed person. Second, I like double-action, single-action pistols. Uh, in my country, I used to carry a Beret 92, um, which is, again, is also a double-action, single-action pistol. I cannot carry here because I make so many modifications to the uh, the pistol, like, for example, the safety in a regular uh, Beretta, the, the, uh, the hammer goes down, uh, and this one doesn't, and then second, the other modification I made is the trigger pull. This is about two and a half trigger pulls. Um, I don't want to have to be involved in something that I shoot somebody and then uh, the lawyers are uh, you know, throw me in jail because I modified the pistol. So again, that's another story. So, bottom line, I need something that is double action, single action. I currently ca carry a Glock 22C, um, full size. I don't like to put one in the chamber and carry like that. Again, this is my personal opinion. I like a hammer pistol. That I can put the hammer down, okay, and I carry like say, like I say, and uh, you know, like this with a, bu a bullet in the chamber, and I have to do full travel of the uh, the trigger. Um, again, I was doing some research about pistol double action, single action, and uh, one of those things I got an email from Center Fire System the other day, and they were offering this pistol. You know, it was only 349 on their website. Uh, they were offering it, and uh, they say double action, single action is a um, CC75 clone, which I like. CC75 clones, that's the second one that I have. This is an uh, elite and folio uh, witness, but that's a competition version. So I started digging into it. I did some, you, some Googling, I did some YouTube in around. I heard good things about it, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the plunge, I'm gonna get one and see uh, how it is. So after research about it, uh, good reviews, now I start researching the price. I found a website it's called LNG Sales. They had it for $319.99 if you buy one, $309.99 if you buy two, uh, not knowing how the pistol was, so I decided only to buy one. So again, it cost me $319.99, $30 for shipping. Uh, that's $350, and $30 for my dealer for the transfer. That's uh, $300. And here it is. Uh, first, take it out of the box. The first thing you see is how the pistol look. Okay, the pistol looks nice and sharp. Uh, the finish is almost perfect. Only has a little something here. I don't know what it is. But again, it's nice and perfect. I don't see any imperfections in the finish. It's a chrome pistol. Uh, I have seen it in different colors. I've seen it in, in chrome. I mean, this is titanium. I'm, I'm sorry. I have seen it in chrome. I have seen it in desert tan. I have seen it in all the green and, of course, the titanium. I say, you know what? Let me go with this color here. It's kind of like a standard color and see how it goes. Again, the finish is very nice. Uh, again, this pistol is $300. This is my opinion. The best pistol, the best finish in a pistol that I have seen is the uh, Paraornas Black Ops. Is beautiful. This finish is fantastic. The worst I have seen, and I have one of those, I'm not ashamed to say it, is the Taurus PT 1911. Uh, this piece is almost brand new. I got it a year ago. Has weighed, what, a couple hundred rounds? And I'm telling you, it looks like beat up. It looks like somebody beat the hell out of it. Uh, has some scratches, and uh, just for carrying it. And this is unconceivable. I have carried the the 19 the, the Taurus as much as I can have carried the uh, the the the, the, the Paraornas and the finish hasn't not even nothing. So anyway, going back to the Shanik. 
Uh, so I got a double action, single action. Uh, one of the things why I got it, second thing that I got it for is because as an ambidextrous safety, I'm lefty. Okay. And uh, so let's say uh, I'm in a competition. I can put one in the chamber, put the safety on, put in the holster. Okay. And that's it. Which, by the way, the holsters, you know, I haven't found one that's just for that one. But I have a Glock holster. Okay. And um, I was trying the other day. This is made by Blatech and it fits perfect as you can see the pistol is upside down and it holds it perfectly okay so it's nice to have a, a holster for it so again going back uh, i like the double action sing uh, double action single action and i like the ambidextrous safety about the ambidextrous safety is a regular size is not oversized or anything uh, if you look at the, the tanfolio uh, this thing has oversized ambidextrous safety and actually oversized is like an understatement. Uh, this thing is so huge, you can probably land the 747 in this thing. Man, it's huge. Uh, same goes for the one on the, um, on the, for the left arm. It's not as big as the one for the right arm, but again, feels great. The reason why I like uh, this safety is because I'm used to the 1911s. I shoot thumb over safety, okay? Uh, I feel that, um, the grip is better when you have your your, uh, your thumb on top of the safety okay um, and um, again gives me an impression that I have I can uh, hold the pistol better uh, also has a an ambidextrous uh, slide release which is great uh, comes with a three dot side it's not a night side or anything like some of the shiny comes with uh, it's, a, it's a fixed rear and three dot sides uh, seems to be pretty simple to acquire uh, doesn't look that bad I mean when I when I present it the, the sides are right there uh, has serrations in the back for you to care if you to drag the slide uh, this one again has any CC 75s uh, the slide goes inside the frame uh, in most of the pistols, the uh, slide goes outside the frame. I don't know if I can explain it here real quick. Um, let me see my operator. As you can see, the frame goes inside the slide. Okay. Which in the uh, in the CZ75s, uh, the the slide goes inside the frame. Uh, the only bad thing about it is that you don't have as much space to grab the slide. Okay, so again, in uh, in a hurry, you might may miss it. As you can see here, I can put my whole thumb on the pistol to slide to the right. And here I have maybe half of my thumb, but again, I don't have an issue with it. No big deal. Uh, the pistol comes with a uh, utility. Um, Picatinny rail, uh, so you can put your flashlight or you can put a laser light. I don't like laser lights, but I respect your opinion if you like it. Knock yourself out. Um, usually in my house, I mean my my nice stand, I have another Glock with the light, nice sight. I have a 22C with about 20 rounds of uh, 40. Um, so uh, I don't need it, but again, it's here. You can put a, something small. Uh, let's talk about the pool. Again, it's double action, single action. Uh, the single action is a, about six pounds. I measured you a day. Okay, uh, you can work on it. Okay, the good thing about this piece is you can work on the on the on the trigger. Uh, so I'm gonna change that. I'm also gonna change the travel to reset it. It's kind of way too long, but it doesn't feel that bad. Um, comes with a 17 pounds recoil spring which is something that's gonna go I hate heavy recoil springs I like something lightweighted for example this one here is a 12 pounds the reason why I like uh, light recoil spring is because if the slide travels faster back and forth and there's not that much resistance when the, the you shoot the pistol and the slide goes back if there's too much resistance that you're going to have recoil back and then you're going to have the slide slamming harder to the front of the pistol and the nose is going to dive. So you're going to have, uh, you have to, you know, hold it back and then hold, put it back up 
um, so it's, it takes you longer to reacquire the sites. Uh, some folks don't like that because they say that uh, the pistol might, you know, the, the how long the pistol is going to last you, dude, I don't care. Okay, the pistols uh, are my toys. I like to, uh, you know, that's like having a, a race car and uh, driving at 10 miles an hour. Okay, pistols for me, I like to drive it fast. I like to shoot it fast. Okay, and uh, I like to pimp them. Okay, and to me, pimping them means you know putting a lighter, a lighter recoil spring. It feels better. Uh, my Glock actually right now has a 11 pounds. Okay, my Glock 34 has a 10 pound recoil spring, and I'm gonna put up a video together with this one with me shooting the Glock. So you're gonna be able to see when I shoot it. You can actually see the slide going back instead of the pistol going up. The slide goes back and forth. And instead of you know the the usual recoil. Okay, what else I can tell about this pistol? Okay, uh, like I say, it has a 15 round, two 15 round magazines. The magazines are made by Meccar, which is an Italian company. Yeah, Forza Italia. Meccar makes magazines for me, pretty much any manufacturer. Um, if you Google it, you will see that Meccar is one of the best magazine aftermarket magazines in the market. Uh, this particular one says in one side compact Chanique 9mm 15 rounds and the other side says Chanique compact 40 Smith & Wesson so I'm guessing this piece, this magazine works great for either 40 or 9. I uh, already found some uh, CZ75 19 rounders uh, on a website for $29.99. Um, I search online and they say that the uh, regular CC75 9mm magazines work perfectly in this, in this pistol, which is something that I have to um, I have to see if it's true or not. Uh, what else can I tell? I mean, I like the size. I, as you can see, my hand fits, fits perfect. Okay, I don't like. I never had a compact pistol, the ones like you know the Glock 23, I think it is, um, that your finger is uh, is outside the. the uh, the handle, I hate that. I, I like to have my, my full hand for a better grip. Okay, I like the fact that this is all metal. Okay, it's heavy weighted. Uh, three, I don't know, like two pounds, I'm guessing, something like that. So what? Okay, uh, I like to have something heavy in my hands. Uh, that's something that I don't like in the Glock. I do have to, you know, give it something good. I like the grip in the Glock, but I like a heavy pistol. I feel like I'm holding something. I feel like you know recoil is less with a heavy pistol. Again, this is just my opinions. Okay. Um, again, it feels great in my hand. Okay, I don't have to have like you know a Glock to say they sell, sell you the small uh, those um, compact subcompact pistols, and then you have to buy an extended magazine so you can fit your whole hand on it. What's the point? Might as well get a pistol that you can put your whole hand inside the grip. I like the uh, thumb over safety. Uh, again, so I can have a better grip of the pistol, and uh, somehow I feel like uh, here I can I can put my finger in this part here, so I can have like a better grip of the pistol. That I have to try it in the Glocks. Again, my my right thumb is like in in the air, so I don't feel I don't have support. And this one feels like I can support it. I don't know if you guys follow uh, the uh, practical shooting, the the race guns. They have something here they call gas pedal, which is that kind of metal um, they put in the pistol so they can put the other thumb, and that's going to give them a better grip. This one, again, uh, it feels like I could do that. i got to try when I get to the range. Uh, what I was going to tell you, again, this is uh, a uh, 3.6-inch barrel um, compared to the 4-inch uh, barrel of the Glock. You have your difference, 3.6 inch barrel. Again, this is for concealed carry, uh, just to carry with me. It's a small pistol, so 3.6 should be more than enough. I'm going to try it 20, 20 yards and see how it is. Uh, again, for concealed carry, uh, only if you're in a movie, you're going to be shooting close combat. I mean, it's going to be very close. Uh, so the person you're going to be um, having the confrontation is going to be like, what, 10, 15 yards if it's not right next to you. Most of the times, if you're, well, you know, what I have read online, and what I have read in magazines, most of the times the close combat is like, you know, right here. And most of the times you don't even have to, look, uh, you know, uh, look at the size. It's most likely his point and shoot. Uh, in my country, 
uh, I had you know the opportunity to pull my gun a couple of times to somebody good thing is I never had to shoot it um, so again I don't have experience of shooting a, you know uh, to an aggressor uh, but again most of the times the times that I had to pull my gun was a close combat and just by the, the fact the person saw that I have a gun that ended the confrontation right there so I'm lucky enough to say that I got out of the country the, that I came from and uh, without the need of actually shooting anybody some of my friends were not that lucky. I have friends that were killed by somebody. Anyway, that's another point. So going back to the pistol. Uh, again, finish very nice. Double action, single action. A bit extra safety. Nice sights. Um, nice finish. I like the engraving. The Canic 55, Shining 55. Looks pretty cool in the slide. The Stingray C also looks pretty cool in the, in the, in the frame. Um, the mag release is kind of rough. Again, this pistol is brand new. I haven't shot a single round yet, so it's kind of heavy. But again, that, you know, after use it a couple of times, it should, uh, the spring should um, uh, give up a little bit, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm going to have to change it because it's way too hard right now. But again, it's doable. Um, well, I don't have anything else to say about the pistol. Oh, and that so far looks okay. I'm just gonna go to the range today. Hopefully, I can make it to a range. Uh, this pistol has been in my hands for a week and a half and still hasn't had one round going through the barrel. Uh, I'm in Pennsylvania, so it's kind of way too cold today this year. This is the winter of 2013 2014. It's probably the worst winter I've ever been. Uh, we had so much snow this year, it's not even funny. Uh, so again, I'm going to try to make it to a range. Um, they say you're going to see this part of the video. Uh, in between this and shooting at the range, you're going to see me shooting my uh, Glock 22. See, so you can see uh, how the, the slide goes back and forth with a 10 pounds, uh, um, 10 pounds uh, uh, recoil spring. By the way, the one that you're going to see me shooting is the Glock 30, 35 uh, with a 9 uh, millimeter barrel. And then you're going to see me a couple rounds at the, the, top, at the range. Hopefully I'm going to be able to record myself at the range. And then I'm going to come over back home and uh, give a five minutes uh, uh, closing statement about this pistol. So far again, I like it. Uh, hopefully it's going to be my favorite to carry. Um, one last thing. Why can't Shanik 55 and not a um, CZ-75? I think it was easy for the Americans to find to find Bin Laden to find a CC-75 nowadays. Uh, it seems like the CC-75 was uh, the underdog for a long time. Uh, nobody was looking at it, but then when somebody finally said, you know what, there's a great pistol in here. Uh, so it started getting advertised, and now you cannot find them anywhere, no matter how much you want to pay for them. Uh, my goal is to get a CC-75 SP-01 which is a 4.6 inch barrel or something like that that is my 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 my, my goal my hopes that i can find the future but I said right now it's almost impossible to find okay youtube i'll see you guys later on uh hopefully enjoy my video and uh, you continue watching it until the end uh to see my impressions Stand of the by. pistol well, Okay, YouTube, this is Malicioso. I am back from the range with my new Shanik 55 Stingray. Um, good news, I mean, the pistol, I shot about 100 rounds. Uh, I used four different uh, type of ammo. I shot some Federal um, factory ammo. I mean, it's so cold that this thing is like fog. I used a reload, also in full metal jacket, 115 rounds, CCA primer, tight group pull uh, powder. 
I use a uh, 150 rounds hard, the, um, lead bullets or hard cast bullets and I also use this kind of weird looking uh, bullets so it's 122 grains also again CCI and tight group uh, in those uh, close to 100 rounds uh, there was no malfunction uh, no failure to feed, no failure to eject uh, everything was perfect um, something that I didn't notice is that the, uh, the chamber um, is not leaving any bulge in the brass uh, for those of you who don't know who don't know what a bulge is it's gonna be hard for you to see it but if you look at the end uh, it's kind of like a little belly coming up from one of the sides what that's telling you is again the uh, the ammo doesn't go is not fully supported by the chamber so that's why it leaves the belly uh, again that doesn't it's not the case in this pistol so again all the brass is looks very nice reusable okay um, and the pistol the recoil doesn't fit that bad the grip is very nice um, I'm gonna have to redo this again when the nice weather comes out uh, comes up again we, we had about 15 14 15 degrees in the range and it was way too cold extremely extremely cold for me I mean I hate it I hate it I hate the cold um, okay I shot again about eight rounds I did notice that almost everything went was shooting high and most of the cases were shooting high to the uh, to the right I'll show you one of my targets and by the way I don't have the targets that I use I use these kind of targets so again uh, almost everything went to this area here some were very high uh, I was shooting about 10, 10 yards so again everything in this area here um, not bad I mean it's still good I, I I don't like you know a pistol that shoots high. Uh, I managed to get some in in the in the bullseyes. And how did I do that? Instead of aiming like this, I was putting the, the nose a little bit down. Um, I don't know if that was me. I don't know if it's because of the cold weather. I don't know if it's because the front of the side is lower. I don't know if you guys notice how high the dots, the dots in the back are, compared to how low the front dot is. That could be, okay. I gotta measure it, but definitely now that I'm looking at it, I notice that the front dot is way lower than the back two dots in the back. So that could be. Uh, but again, the big question: Am I gonna carry this with me? Uh, is this gonna be my concealed weapon? Hell yeah, it is going to be okay uh, again right out of the box in a nasty cold weather I, I put some oil on it before I went there uh, the oil was kind of way like frozen almost and again not a single malfunction uh, the pistol behaves perfect um, again $380 I think it is a fantastic pistol for the price what am I gonna do I uh, what I need, things I need to do I need to change the front sight Again, I think that's where the problem is. That's why it's shooting so high. Uh, but again, for personal defense, for concealed carry, I think it is great. Uh, remember, um, based on what I have read, and um, either on the, on the websites or uh, on magazines, most of the uh, confrontations happen very close. So again, if I have 10 yards, I can put bullets right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be uh, is good enough to stop somebody to so stop an intruder at home. It's going to be way, way more than enough. Uh, again, kudos to Shanik. Uh, nice pistol, uh, good price. Uh, I don't see any anything odd in the pistol. Uh, again, I shot it, and the finish is still great. The air is a little bit dirty. Uh, the barrel got you know the distinctive mark when you use the pistol again that's nothing uh, out of the uh, normal uh, it's normal that the, the barrels are getting uh, some um, no scratches like a mark from the uh, from the from the slide uh, but again the pistol behaves perfect I like it it is going to be my waistband starting tonight actually 
I, uh, I, I recommend it. Uh, again, I bought mine from lngsales.com, I think it is. Uh, Center Fire System also sells it. Actually, I think right now they have a sale going on for $2.99 if I'm not wrong. Um, but again, I recommend it. I like it. It's a very nice pistol. Uh, I enjoy shooting it. And even though the weather was not the best ones, I mean, it was way too cold, I did enjoy shooting my pistol. Okay, YouTube, that's all I have. I mean, um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, leave comments, please, if you, if you feel like um, uh, I neglected something that I should say, uh, feel free to do it. Um, and uh, thank you so much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video again. See you guys later. Bye.